you guys welcome back and I don't even know how to start off this video because on Monday I was starting the update Let's see if you see it from here I was starting the update to my setup and then I realized I ran out of contact paper in the middle of the process and I had to stop and order some new stuff on Amazon and everything came in today. <sighs> they kept changing the due date from like, or the delivery date from, first it said Thursday, then it changed to Friday, then it turned back to Thursday. So it's Thursday. I have the stuff now and well, I'll go ahead and show you guys. Well, long story short, I feel like I'm all over the place, but long story short, I want to update my desk, put everything up and make it look a little bit more presentable or just make my desk look better. I don't know what else to say about it, but I'll show you guys everything that I bought for the setup and then we'll get to work. All right, so I just had to take a little second and finish the show I was watching. It's like a piece of fuzz on the camera but yeah I just had to take a second to finish the show I was just looking at and then again my face it's like if I face a certain way my face looks like so red or something like the lighting in here maybe this is what I really look like and I just had no idea I don't know <laughs> maybe I don't know what I look like but okay I'll show you guys what I have for the setup and then we can get to working more contact paper suspiciously unbranded okay um an outlet adapter because i need more adaptions for my outlets zip ties for cable management some strip lights for around the desk and underneath some light bars uh, the box was abused severely on the way to me so not my fault but you know you know you know okay so they put a bunch of stuff on the box but it's a monitor stand it's for two monitors but i'm thinking i can maybe detach one or kind of hide the second bar behind my monitor until i get a second monitor because maybe eventually i will but i already had this stand because i had every intention on just buying a second monitor but just never got around to it but you know whatever and I'll go ahead and show the footage from me starting on the contact paper and my cable management now. We're gonna go ahead and get this desk together. I'm gonna go in, that don't belong in here. All right, I'm gonna show you guys what's currently on my desk and we're gonna do a before. All right, so this is the before of my desk. It is a mess. Uh, normally my laptop isn't here, but I work today. So this is the computer I work on, but we got our mic on the side, our controllers, our consoles, keyboard is usually sitting up here where the computer is, candy wrappers, cause I had some candy today. Um, the monitor is just sitting on its stand that it came with. Cable management doesn't exist. So this is what we're currently working with and we're gonna go ahead and get this straightened up and update it. Okay, so right now I just have a plain white desk, which I regret buying because uh, it, it would, in my opinion, look better black. So I bought this black contact paper that has a wood grain. More than halfway through, and I did not have enough contact paper. So I just hopped on Amazon and ordered another roll. 
I guess all I can do at this point is now try to attach or see what's going on with this cable management thing. Okay, and now we're gonna go ahead and finish up. So I'm gonna put you guys down and finish up my desk. Also, I'm really feeling the contact paper. I'm kind of thinking, like it's sticking very well because I put this down on Monday. The top of it's sticking very well. I think a little bit of the edges are coming up just a little bit, but I just like smooth it back down and it's good. You know, probably if I sat here and actually applied myself, I can get it to stick better. Um, I do have this line. You guys can kind of see it from there. I know I'm kind of far away, but there's a line that's going across here that's not covered. And I'm thinking about leaving it uncovered because why not? Just for like a little accent to the table. Just have a little bit of white there because, you know, my background. Well, you saw when I'm kind of walking around you see that my background has the black and white stripes so if i leave like a small white stripe on here it still kind of goes for my theme now if i don't get this uh, contact paper lined up correctly and it's not a straight line like it is i might reconsider and everything i bought i got on amazon so i'll go ahead and link everything that i got in the description including my desk because i hate when i watch a stream like somebody's desk tour and this was me before i even got this desk i would watch street like people's stream tours their desk tours in order to figure out what desk everybody's using nobody ever tells what desk they have it's so annoying like it was so hard for me to find a desk that i just wanted and then ikea just never had the desk that i wanted in stock so i ended up just getting one off of amazon but that was just something that really irked me when trying to find a desk in these tour videos. Nobody ever says what desk they have. What table, nada. I'm like winded from that. <laughs> I'm really passionate about the fact that people don't tell me what desk they have. All done. All right, and for what I was trying to achieve, I believe this looks seamless enough I'm gonna go ahead and show you the far away do you see how I left a little bit of the white here and this is where the contact paper is this is the desk and then this is the bar the metal bar for the legs see that stripe there from at a glance you would think this desk has a grain on it now you can see the seam is right about there you can see where it lines and then you can see where it ends there but if you're just sitting here and you have your dad your stuff on the desk honestly it doesn't look bad i could probably hit this right here with a permanent marker just to clean up that seam you can see a little bit of the white but other than that i think that looks pretty good and you just drag it right across where it was showing right there blends it right in i think what i want to do now is lights so like these lights so around the desk i guess just around the back of the desk i don't really know i should have watched more videos so i can get some more inspiration but i just winged it and was just like lights lights seem fine all right all my lights are the govi ones even the ones on my wall the light bars i just like govi I just had some leftover pizza before I sat down because I was really hungry. My stomach is not happy. Very cool outlet adapter. Very cool. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in really quick. All right, so it's not staying this color, but just for emphasis. Do you see how cool that looks? With just the green around the desk. Nice little glow there looks really cool let's move on to i want to say mounting our monitor unboxing the light bars okay and we have our light our go v flow pro light bars i have not opened these or looked at them yet i haven't even looked at my phillips hue ones so it's like a first impression for me too Oh, 
Oh, were they in here? So these little stands, honestly, I might just put them on their stands and put the stands behind my computer. What is this? Oh, this is some sort of like, I guess some sort of reader. So it kind of reads off of what's on your TV and matches the colors. I don't really need that because I'm probably gonna set everything to whatever color I want it to be. So I'm not really worried about that. Now in terms of quality, since I have not unboxed the Philips ones, I can't really say, cause they're just plastic. I can't really be like, this is way better plastic or is the other one better? Couldn't really tell you. Couldn't really tell you. Um, all right, the confusion is setting in. Huh. Maybe at this stage in the game, I should read a manual because I'm confused. You guys, I'm so confused. I might have to stop and read a manual really quick because, um, so this end is a USB-C. As you can see, it's a USB-C, but it came with this kind of adapter. And I have no idea what it's supposed to be plugged into because nothing, like do I just plug this up into like, I don't have a Thunderbolt like adapter. Let me make sure there's nothing else in the box. There's something else in the box. Say less, please. Oh, okay, 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 this makes more sense. So this piece plugs into this adapter and then this piece plugs into the outlet. I feel way better, I was so confused. <laughs> I'm just like... Anyway, let's go ahead and put these on the stands. This doesn't feel right. So they have these little adapter pieces and they, with the cord underneath it, sit like this. That feels funny. Uh, so I guess it just, you wouldn't press it all the way down. You would just have it kind of sit there like that. Okay, I can live with this. It's a little weird that they wouldn't put a, a hole or something so that the cord isn't sitting there bent like that, but. Whatevs, whatevs. These are gonna sit behind my monitor and I'm gonna go ahead and plug this up really quickly Need to clear off my desk. It's getting a little crazy over here. Getting a little crazy. Oh, also it came with little stickies. So these would stick behind your monitor and it would light up the wall that way. But honestly, I don't know if I wanna put these on my monitor yet. So I'm just holding on to them for now because so far I think I just want to have them sitting on the desk. But if I change my mind, you know. Back to what we we're supposed to be doing. Getting the mount on this monitor. Put this on the floor and all the trash. Ooh. We got my baby sitting here. I know it'd be really cool if I had a screwdriver. That would be the coolest. Just the absolute coolest. Let me go find one really quick. Okay. Out of a couple people, well, I've always heard this where people say like, oh, we like long videos. We like long videos. So I'm going to try to leave this video as unedited as possible and uh, try to include a lot of footage so people can have their long video. You know, I'm just trying to trying to give back to the community, you know me. When I first set this up, I did not connect my monitor correctly. And so I'm like sleeping 
and I hear a crash and it scared me. And I'm like, oh my God, what was that? And then I come out and the whole monitor had just fell off the little monitor stand that I had it on because I guess I didn't screw it in right. I don't know. I was so scared that I broke it because I had just opened it up the night before, had it all set up and then it fell off the stand. And I think what happened, this part was connected to the monitor, but somehow this part, I don't even know how I did it. Oh, maybe the screws weren't in. This part had com came completely away from this part and it was just like laying on the table and I'm like, oh my God. All right, this part, I'm probably gonna time lapse because I'm just fastening the uh, brackets to the back of this um, monitor really quick. Nothing interesting, nothing, nothing good to see here. Also, my background is a mess, mind your business. I was getting kind of nervous because my monitor is curved and it has like this kind of metal piece that's sticking out but luckily they gave me like these spacers to put down because i was over here not really sweating but you know starting to feel a little heat there because i was confused Also, did anybody notice that I attempted to slick my baby hairs? Nobody even noticed. You didn't notice. You know, I'm not in here doing all those amazing special effects with mine, but I try my best and I feel like it looks pretty good. Um, one of my coworkers, she says I have a hairline, like a wig. <laughs> you know, some people have like, uh, when you buy like a wig, and it's like super thick up front where it looks looks unbelievable. And she said, that's what my hairline looks like. <laughs> I have a wiggy hairline. Okay, quick update. The monitor stand just took about ever to do. Over here, I was starting to break a sweat, but you know, I've recovered. So I'll show you guys what I got going on so far. I'm like trying to clear off the desk really quick because I'm still kind of on the fence about the way the monitor is set up. But I think what the issue is, it's just new to me. Have not managed my cables underneath there yet, so don't worry about it. So as of right now, it's sitting here. It's kind of high up, I don't know. I know it's higher than I normally would have it, and I think maybe that's what the issue is. I kind of feel like I should lower it just a little bit. Maybe not, because as I'm just kind of sitting here, it doesn't feel too bad. In my opinion, it's just sitting a lot closer like to my face than it was previously is how kind of how I feel about it. And so I had to go in there and make some magic happen. All right, I'm gonna work on getting the rest of this set up and show you guys. Also, I got hot, so I took off my shirt, but let me put it back on really quick. Got a little warm messing around with this stand. So I have my desk laid out how it's supposed to be. Let me, oh my gosh, you guys, I just did one of these and then my finger hooked onto my earring and I pulled down. That could have been ugly. And also because I'm lazy, I have two sets of earrings in the same ear hole because I cannot be bothered taking these out. Why? Two earrings, but in the same hole. It's fine. <sighs> 
Okay, let me get all these cables managed and everything plugged up and I will be right back in a second. Be right back. I'm back and I'm pretty much done. Now there's a few things that I could do. Um, let me turn off this light projector really quick because it is literally blinding me. Let me show you what I've sat here and done and give you the updated desk. Now there are still some cords back there that I can go ahead and group together and snake along the pole in the back. Haven't got around to doing that. And then on the floor, there's no longer a jumble of cords. Oh, this one is the cord to my computer, my Mac, my laptop. So I need that. But before it was just cords all on the floor and I kept kicking them with my feet. Now they are up off the floor. Looking pretty good. Let me turn my lights back on. Oh, and this camera is dying. Okay, I almost did it again, just yank. Um, let me go ahead and switch out my battery and then we're gonna go ahead and unbox the bonus item. So be right back. This right here is a speaker and this company, this is the first time I have got an email from a company and they were actually offering me something that I wanted. They didn't pay me or anything. They just sent me the item to unbox and like show on my channel. So that's what we're doing. Um, let me my box cover. Now I did talk about this before. I just haven't opened it up yet because I knew I was saving it for this video. Ooh, look at this. First of all, look how cute the packaging is for this. So this is the Davoom Ditto Retro Pixel Art Portable Speaker. Look at that. And I love that it comes in this little gift bag. That's so special. All right, let's look at it. So it has 16 million RGB color display smart alarm, a sleep aid, social media notifications, daily tools, DJ mixer, companion mobile application, and eight hour battery time. Let's go ahead and get this open. Now I did request black because I knew the black one would look the best on my setup. Oh my gosh, you guys. You guys have probably seen these everywhere. I almost don't even want to take it out of the case. It's so cute. Like, I just want to leave it in this. How do, oh, you just press the side and it opens up. And then it just comes out. Look how cute. Oh. And this is most likely the charger here. We got the instruction manual and some cute little pixel art stickers. Kind of fill in the pumpkin one. I think pumpkin might be my favorite. Yeah, pumpkin's the cutest. connect it to my Bluetooth. I'm just really curious on what all this can do. Oh, listen. All right, my phone is connected, so I started playing my music, but I 
think this is so cute. It's gonna look so good just sitting on my desk because it just matches the whole vibe that I have going on here. So you can adjust the volume. Oh, that's probably so loud. And then, hold on. Do you wanna test the audio really quick? Oh my God, I'm nervous. All right, I wanna change the art on here. So let's see. <laughs> so right now I'm just in the gallery looking at all these cute little backgrounds that they have. All right, so I think I'm pretty happy with this. Oh my God, somebody's alarm is just going off. We're just gonna wait it out, I guess. I was actually looking at this speaker probably maybe a week before they sent me an email and I was like, oh, I needed a speaker for my setup anyway. So it kind of worked out. We love when things work out. Oh my God. Okay. So while the neighbor's car alarm is not going off, let's hurry up. So very cute. I will mostly be using this strictly for when I'm sitting at my desk and I wanna play some audio. It does not plug into my computer because my computer does not have Bluetooth. There you go, but yes, I'm gonna go ahead and put this in my setup. I think it's gonna be a cute little addition and it blends right into what I got going on here. And yes. All right, and this is the setup with lights on. Ignore my messy background. Lights off. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed the setup video. I've been sitting here working on this since um, I believe six o'clock. It is now 11.07. <sighs> so it wasn't easy sitting here. I think my hardest um, issue that I had was definitely messing around with this monitor stand, but we figured it out. Everything else, easy peasy. Um, it looks so good. I'm really enjoying the new setup. I think it looks really nice and professional. And what this really opened up, because at first I was like, oh, I don't have room for I don't have room for a second monitor. I don't have room. Check this out. Right above that speaker, look at all that open real estate there. You know, it would be a kind of a tight fit. My computer is kind of sitting at an angle, so if I like straighten it out and push it over to the side, I would have more space to move my monitor over to the side and open up this area. Or I could not, honestly. I kind of like just having this open space right there because that just leaves room for anything I want. I can get a anything. I could put a plant there if I liked plants. Who knows? Anything can go there. It looks good. I also have my little Pietro keychain hanging from my mic. Really, really cute. I love him so much. But that is all. I hope when I go back to edit this footage, it all came across the way I want it to. Everything looks good. Um, thank you, Devoom, for sending me the speaker. I think it looks really cute on my setup. And yeah, I'll leave links to everything that's on my setup, everything that I bought from Amazon. I'll leave it all in the description for you guys. Um, along with the link for the speaker and I think that's all I'm tired you guys I'm gonna go ahead and upload this footage onto my computer wash my face and call it a night I will see you guys in the next one and enjoy your day bye